I am LaMarcia Lewis, let's start. We will be doing commentary today uh, talking about Wendy Williams. I also want to make sure that I note their use disclaimer will be, will be disclosed in my description of this commentary for I am LaMarcia Lewis, let's talk YouTube channel. I saw earlier today where Ricky Smiley, a very well-known comedian from Birmingham had did some share some information in regards to Wendy Williams and Wendy Williams' health. And after seeing it, I said, well, I want to do a little more research, in which I did go on and read it again and listen to the commentary, the information that was shared from Ricky Smiley and the gentleman that was spoken. His name is Tuan the Don or something to that effect. Tuan is what they were calling him. Gary wasn't on today. Like Gary normally is we know gives us the tea. But uh, the information that what the gentleman shared about Wendy kind of took me aback. I, 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 like I said, I know many of us are aware that she's not currently doing her own TV show, The Wendy Williams Shows, which is in season 13. And that is due to health reasons. And what the gentleman reported is, it says, Wendy Williams is confined to a wheelchair and showing signs of dementia. That is what he stated. He says she has lost blood circulation to her legs and feet. So this is what has caused her to be now confined to a wheelchair. He also reported and stated that she's suffering from early signs of dementia. And no one likes to see any family loved one that they love go through this horrible horrible difficult time of, of dementia my grandmother is currently i only have one living grandparent she just we just recently celebrated her 88th birthday but she is basically going through dementia and that's very difficult I, I, I often tell people how hurt i was the first time she didn't know who who i was and i'm her oldest grandchild she's uh basically had eight kids. She lost uh, one son when my, my my mom and siblings, my mom and her siblings were growing up. And so she, she and my granddad raised seven. My mother is the oldest of those children, which my mom is deceased and has been deceased since 1999. I also have an aunt that uh, is deceased and a uncle. There's now two living brothers and two living sisters and three of those seven siblings, my mom being the oldest, has now, are deceased. And again, my mother has been deceased since 1999, and my grandmother recently turned 88, uh, November 1st. And like I said, just seeing her not be the grandmother that I know is, is hard. So when I when I saw this about when Rick, on Ricky Smiley, it just really, it just kind of broke my heart. And again, it just made me just stop and go, wow. And when the gentleman was talking about how Wendy is now confined to the wheelchair and all of that and showing the signs of dementia, I think it was E, <coughs> excuse me, like, oh, wow. And I, too, was like in gas and oh, wow, because this is just not, it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound good. And as Ricky had pointed out, she's just been through so much, uh, the divorce with her ex-husband all the things that took her through she and her ex-husband has one child a son and he at one point in time was her manager and all of that handled they had shared their business together her her career and all of that but again how things turned out and now they being divorced that was not pretty with and wendy is a public figure she's a celebrity she has i mean she has the wendy williams show she's known for how you doing things of that nature so woo, woo, you know and all that her her theme and but she has she's been through a lot she's been um also as we know she has a graze disease uh she's constantly continues to my understanding, and I might want to state allegedly just to cover myself for legal purposes, allegedly uh, uh, suffered through drug addictions and things of that nature. So why I want to speak on this is because she's a human being. She is a human being. And again, she's 50, 57 years old. 
that's still a person that's really young. She's been through a very public, not so nice divorce. She's lost her mother. There was one time something going on with her brother and all of that. And again, just so much, a lot of negativity to, to I don't want to bring any negativity. What I want to just bring and hope that you will do is have some real compassion, some real empathy and, and genuine concern and get, and give give some love. Offer up some prayers. Call. Only way this can get better is going to be with, with God's help and God's direction. And my heart do go out to her because she's having to live her what she's going through which should be privately because of who she is wendy williams like i say a public figure a celebrity her business is out there the fact that wendy williams has been confined to a wheelchair i have seen out there on the internet pictures of her in a wheelchair and pictures of her where she don't always look the, look the best that's not something good and again my hope is that me mentioning this on i am a martial Lewis youtube channel would just hope you would just have some compassion for our sister for a woman for a woman that has been through so much and is continuing to go through so much which should be behind the scenes, really, truly private. But because of her being a public figure, that's not the case. So, again, just I ask that people that truly love Wendy, that are true, dedicated fans, just offer up some love for her. We know uh, Sherry Shepard recently did a week where she got raised review, uh, guest co-hosting for the Wendy Williams uh, show she did it from November the 1st through November the 5th she did a full week and she's gotten rave reviews uh, there's been others that have been guest co-hosting because again that she is not able to actually do her show herself and I pray that God do strengthen her that she gets back to do what she should be doing which is there on her own show because the show is named the Wendy Williams show so let's just offer up some love and some kindness that's what we all need we all need some love and kindness in us as much as possible because we are living in such a mean mean world we still are in a pandemic although many don't act as if we are but it's just so much going on and life is short and so i am lamar lewis and i ask that you offer up some love some kindness to Miss Wendy Williams. I'm LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk.